spread my wings and fly to where my dreams can come true. I want to be in a place where they understand the stirrings of my heart, where people just like me will take me as I am. For academic year 2021-2022, Holy Name University Basic Education Department proudly offers The Heights. The Heights is an acronym for Home Education Innovation Guided with Heightened Technology System. Holy Namians, this is the basic education primer crafted to uphold the Holy Namian tradition of excellence and to empower the young learners for the 21st century technological advancements in education. At Holy Name University, K-12 curricular offerings are as follows. Grade school, junior high school, and senior high school. The Heights brings to us the following options. Option 1, online and offline learning. And option two is blended learning. As classes shift to a blended learning, there are academic regulations and policies that have to be adopted in the conduct of classes. First, only officially enrolled students will be issued an email account. Our official email account is at hnu.edo.ph. This email address can be found in the HNU MIS account of a senior high school student, while for our new students in the junior high school and the grade school, you will just be informed about your email address, while the old students will just be using their past school year's email address. This email address shall be used in joining classes in Google Classroom. For the senior high school students, just refer to getting started with Google Classroom and a student guide in the use of Google Classroom found in your MIS account. Second, although online learning will primarily be asynchronous, subjects are assigned time slots to provide a certain structure for the student's daily schedule and to avoid conflict of synchronous sessions during teacher's consultation time. For our online learners, on the first week of classes, students are expected to log in to their Google Classroom accounts and join their classes on the designated class schedule. In the same way, teachers are also expected to be online to present the lesson guide, determine the capability of students to access the learning materials, and to ensure that all students officially enrolled in the class are on board. For offline learners, in the first week of classes, parents or guardians will come on designated dates to claim their learning kits from their respective class advisors, after which they will come back on scheduled dates for the submission and claiming of the new set of learning kits. Fourth, with online learning, attendance regulations for students do not apply. However, students are expected to comply with class requirements as scheduled. When face-to-face -face is implemented, appropriate attendance regulations will be implemented. Fifth, communication between faculty and students should be coursed through the Google Classroom and official email at hnu.edu.ph. Sixth, the university regulations on data privacy for heights and the existing HNU policy on intellectual property should be observed at all times. Here are our official apps and tools. For a learning management system, we'll be using the HNU email and the Google Classroom. For written communication, we'll be using the HNU email and the Google Chat. The audio-video communication, we will be using the HNU email and Google Meet. 
in a group or class communication, we will be using the Google Chat. Hardware and internet requirements for online and blended learning. We have reliable internet access, desktop or laptop, tablets, mobile phones, accessories like speakers, microphones, and flash drives. The school will still follow the depth ed guidelines for assessments. We have written works performance tasks, and quarterly examinations. Home school partnership is a collaboration of teachers, students, and parents and guardians based on mutual respect, trust, and shared responsibility for the education of the learners. Identifying the roles of each one will help in setting the expectations to make the Heights program effective. For the parents and guardians, first, choose a place in your home for your child or children to study. Second, provide a stable internet access capable for online learning for those who opted for options 1 and 2. Third, Establish the needs and expectations. It is very helpful to develop good habits from the start. Fourth, begin and end the day by checking in. These will help children develop self-management and decision-making, which are essentials in life. Fifth, Visit your child or children's learning management system to keep updated with the tasks to be accomplished for the week. Sixth, monitor time on screen and online. Seventh, help your child or children own their learning. Provide support and encouragement. Let them do their part because becoming independent takes a lot of practice and a lot of time. Eighth, stay in touch. It is helpful to communicate with teachers, school administrators, and support staff for relevant matters, concerns, and queries through scheduled consultations or you may message through a teacher's official HNU email. For teachers, first, design balanced learning activities and learning tasks for students according to their preferred modality. Second, deliver lessons to students using their chosen learning delivery modality. Third, provide varied learning materials for remote digital and remote non-digital or offline learners. Fourth, provide formative and summative assessments that ensure academic integrity. Fifth, provide students emotional and social support. Sixth, respond promptly to parents' queries with regard to school-related learning activities. Seventh, provide regular consultation hours for students. For our students, first, log in to Google Classroom regularly. Second, follow guidelines and policies set for classes. Third, accomplish tasks within the given period of time, submit completed assignments, and look for tasks that the teacher has reviewed, graded, and commented. Fourth, manage time well. Fifth, develop self-regulatory habits to accomplish required tasks. Sixth, ask questions during the scheduled consultation period. Holy Name University gives primary concern to the health and safety of its stakeholders. The university implements its own health and safety guidelines based on the government standards. Wearing of face masks and face shields are required at all times upon entry and while inside the campus. Mandatory stepping with a foot bath, temperature checking and hand sanitizing shall be done while maintaining a 1 meter physical distance upon entry to the campus and upon entry in all buildings. Visitors are mandated to log in the required information needed in the logbook for possible contact tracing. The same is true for students who have no classes and who wish to enter the campus. Hand hygiene and cough etiquette should strictly
safely be observed. Strict physical distancing at a minimum of 1 meter radius, side, back, and front, between each other shall be strictly observed. Human traffic roads and buildings should be followed to avoid convergence. Here are the frequently asked questions. Are students expected to come to school every day for classes? All classes will be conducted online until the government prohibition on face-to-face -face classes will be lifted. For those who opted for offline learning, activities will be done at home. Can I use Messenger or other tools to communicate with my teacher regarding class deliverables and other issues? The HNU official LMS and communication channels are Google Classroom and or the official HNU email address. However, teachers may use other apps or tools like Messenger as long as they follow the university guidelines on online data privacy. Where can students download the learning materials? Digital learning materials can be downloaded online through the Google Classroom. Where can students access printed learning materials? Printed learning materials will be available at the respective classroom of the students. How is the quarterly assessment be done? Quarterly examination is a week-long duration. Students will be given 24 hours to finish an exam from the time of its release. Answering will not be timed but students should submit their answers within 24 hours. As a new student, I went through the online process of enrollment. How do I pay the registration fee? You can pay the registration fee through our various payment channels. Kindly visit our HNU website and click our partner banks for more details and information. What adjustments are made in the tuition and fees? The university decided not to increase tuition fees for the school year 2021-2022. Some miscellaneous fees such as the athletic fee and aircon fee were adjusted or decreased to consider the impact of the changes in the delivery of instruction due to the pandemic. The administration is still considering other school fees that may be adjusted if necessary. Any adjustment as a result thereof shall be implemented within the school year. How am I going to settle my pending balance from the previous school year? Due to the economic impact of the COVID-19, the administration is giving consideration to students with remaining unpaid balance from the previous semester. The unpaid balance will be carried over to the current semester and this shall be settled within the school year 2021-2022. Can we still avail of our child's government subsidy while studying online? Yes, students can still avail of the scholarship since the government subsidy is mandated by law. How will we get the copy of the official receipt if students are not allowed to go to campus? For payments made through banks and payment channels other than aging tellers, kindly present the proof of payment or validated payment slip to the university cashier or email the scanned copy of the validated payment slip to payments at ihd.edu.ph as reference for issuance of official receipt. The official receipt shall be claimed personally from the designated teller windows in the university. Classes start on August 16, 2021. Thank you for being one with us at Old Day University. my dear senior high school students of Holy Day University Basic Education Department. I am truly glad and proud that you are joining us for the school year 2021-2022. I know you have made the right choice in being with us at Holy Day University. Now, if you have noticed uh, posted in the HMU official 
are already noticed about the orientation that will happen for this week. So I'd like to remind everyone to keep posted of the Holy Name official so that you will be guided on what to do in the duration of our uh, orientation. Likewise, for next, uh, next week, you will officially be loading your class schedule. Now, we are glad and we guarantee you that indeed you have made your right choice in making us a part of your schooling for the senior high school. Now rest assured that we and the rest of the faculty and staff of the senior high school will try to do our best to give you a fruitful, meaningful, realistic teaching and learning activities that will be suited to the different tracks that we have selected. For those who are into the STEM and those who are into the AM and for the EOMS, we guarantee you we will be giving you the best slated for what's in store of that. One thing good though about coming and joining us at Holy Name University is that hopefully if the government will allow already the face-to-face -face interaction, you will soon be occupying the new building of the senior high. And I guarantee you, you will have an ample space for our teaching learning activities. So you will never go wrong in selecting Holy Name University to be your part of this educational journey. Once again, Mang Sheila B. Alturas at your service as the assistant principal of the senior high school of Holy Name University. Once again, thank you and good day. See you around in the campus. How Holy Name University maintains the new equilibrium in the new normal. Dear parents, guardians, and students, good day. One of the hardest parts of schooling this time of pandemic is the increasing blur between work mode and home mode. Many of us are struggling to find anything resembling a balance when teaching or learning from home, but the uncertainty around when schools will reopen for the second school year in the face of this COVID-19 pandemic is for me on how to find the balance even more important. Schools have faced a turbulent year the school year that was, and was forced to consider how technology could be used to keep learners safe and engaged in educating during this pandemic. At the onset of this challenging life scenario, HA News reaction, though overwhelmed by the situation, was to explore the best intervention on how to still excellently deliver the goods to our students despite the situation, whether it's online or offline. As school year 2019-2020 ended prematurely, we were confronted as to when to rightly start the incoming school year. There were a number of ideas that hinted to guide us in determining the proper time to start the school year. We, in HNU, took the August opening of classes with our blended learning. The same is true for this coming school year. We will open on August 9, this week actually, and spend the weekdays for parents' orientation and teachers retooling. Classes will formally start on August 16th. Preparation Having a bit acquainted with the situation in the face of the pandemic, preparations to face the second year of the new normal focus on innovations and modifications of the instructional programs implemented last school year to be better improve our delivery brutality of instructions. Since it's not yet safe for students to come to school for a face-to-face -face classes, we decided to continue utilizing the official platform for blended learning, the Google Classroom, 
for our continuing education in the new normal. Same with what we were doing last school year, intensive preparations in all facets of schooling were being undertaken despite that terrible feeling of anxiety on what will really happen to us in this pandemic. You might be asking how HKMU went about its preparation a year ago when the pandemic broke out. Well, it's like this. Having decided on using the blended learning, very quickly the administration had appointed teachers and office personnel with expertise on IT to compose a team to train all teachers about Google Classroom. The team started training the basic education teachers and moreover, a health and safety committee was also activated and was commissioned to quickly formulate an in-house health and safety protocols based on the IATF mandated COVID-19 safety and health protocols to ensure the safety and protection of all employees as well as for parents and students who will be coming in the campus for important business purposes and eventually to fight the spread of COVID-19 virus. It's in you shielding its wings to her sons and daughters. He will shield you with his wings. He will shelter you with his feathers. Psalm 91. As what Psalm 91 has expressed on how God protects his people from danger, its new administration gave priority to the welfare of every member of its new family by ensuring safety and protection and a less stressful situation not only to its employees but more so to its students and their parents in the face of this pandemic by doing the following among many others which will be taken up in the succeeding virtual presentations purposely created to orient you, dear parents, of our students. One, a flexible mode of paying school fees. Students shall no longer be required to pay their quarterly dues during quarterly examination. Number two, more than enough time of taking periodical official tests by giving students 24-hour duration per subject area of taking the examination. Number three, a well-conceived new normal program of lesson delivery, the heights, home education innovation guided with high-tech technological system with a user-friendly LMS the Google Classroom. Dear students, parents and guardians, in behalf of the Father President and his cabinet and the whole family of the Basic Education Department, may I invite you to be with us with this virtual parents guardians orientation with the hope of strengthening our partnership. This is very vital, especially in this time of pandemic of which everyone is anxious and in the stressful life situation. Welcome and God bless you and your family.